Hey everyone, welcome back for more EXO Zero's content. In today's video, we're going to discuss Non-FC Hidden Gems Part 2. But before that, if you want to see more EXO Zero's content, please hit the subscribe button down below. For new players and beginners, I know it's uh, a bit frustrating not to um, have uh, very many um, heroes in your roster, but trust me that there are, there are actually hidden gems that are waiting to be found just lying there um you just have to identify who they are and we start with sernando so sernando is a light hero he is pretty much one of my non-fc hidden gems that are just waiting for an fc of his own so for now he has no fc we'll try to discuss his skills so for his passive he has money utilization 2 so increase increase attack based on allies mana count gains mana one mana if mana count of allies is 10 or more of own he has also shelter investigator one increases damage by 20 percent against monomos with darkness barrier so light heroes are very rare in terms of um in terms of number um for his s1 he has Call of Light, so increases critical hit of all allies by 48 for 14 turns. This is actually very good, especially if you have a team that is fast, because it's only um, uh, mana two is uh, sorry. It's because of his mana cost of its mana cost only two. You can really cast this uh, on his first turn. So moving on to his S2. So he has. Deals 24% damage to all enemies, so required mana is 4, but it's a burst skill. So that, that is very good for him. So the strategy for 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 Sernando is that um, on your first couple of turns, you try to cast Call of Light. Then once everybody has their crit up, you can already um, cast uh, Proctor of God for his S2. So that is what I like about him because he he can be very useful early and mid and, and late game as well. So for our next hero, um, she is a frost character or frost hero. So she's Obelia. So let's take a look at her passive. So her passive has cleanse too. So cleanses damage over time and debuff effects from allies and gain one mana. So gain one mana additionally if health of target is 20% or less when triggered. So again, she has Shelter Investigator 3. So increase damage by 20% against Monomos with Frost Barrier. Then let's go look at her S1. It's Cherry Blossom Blessing. So it's mana require, it required is 3. So she increases the defense of her allies by 28% of own defense. So the trick is also to increase her own defense so that she can give bigger defense to the whole team. Also, it removes all status effects from targets. So for her S2, she has Cherry Blossom Slash, so deals 102% damage to all enemies, decreases attack of targets by 90% of own attack. So again, um, she's a very good support, um, support slash attack character, but more in the support. The key to her, or the key for you using her, is to increase her attack and to increase her, her defense. Her increased defense uh, affects her S1, and her increased attack affects her S2. So she's also a very good support. Um, similar to what uh, similar to what Tantalo does um, and she is actually one of the earliest heroes that I tried to use when I was still in the early weeks of when I started playing Exos Heroes. Our next one is Ferris. So Ferris is also one of the better light heroes that we have. So let's check out her skills. So for her passive she has protect 2 this is actually similar to the passive garf okay so she has share health with the lowest maximum health okay so she protects uh, one ally that has the lowest health 
for her S1. So she has um, Holy Light Strike, which requires only one mana. So although the damage is not that much, it's only 48% to the back row. But you don't use this skill for the damage. You use this skill for the stun. So afflicts target with stun for 3 turns to the back row. And for her S2, you have Condemnation. So mana required is 3. So deals 210% damage and also aff uh, afflicts target with stun for 5 turns. So you use Furious to disable your enemies. She's good actually in the, in, in the chapters. In stages where you have to to incapacitate mobs so for our next one we have Metron so Metron is also a light hero they are again one of the better ones so let's uh, check out his passive so his passive is removes all removes enemy buffs and gains one mana gains one mana additionally if target if health of target is 80% or more so it's called mana absorb 2 so again, he has Shelter Investigator 1, increases damage by 200% against Monomos with Darkness Barrier. So for his S1, which is this is one of one of the, the better skills that I've seen. So requires 3 mana, Dragon's Protection. It has ref, uh, Reflect Damage to all allies for 16 turns. And also uh, gives all allies 1 mana when he casts this spell. So one of one of the heroes that if you don't have iris you can definitely use metron for your team and for his s2 so deals 420 percent damage to an to one enemy afflicts target with curse dealing 111 percent damage every turn for six turns so you actually try to use metron because of more of his s s1 skill so similar to Iris, you use you you value Iris for her mana, but for Metron you value him for his mana one uh, that he gives to all allies and also the reflect damage he gives to all allies for 16 turns. So we have here is Seer. So Seer is actually a one of the rare characters in this list. So she is actually a hidden gem. If you don't have Morris and if you don't have Yao, you can actually use Seer. She's a very good um, um, third option in terms of her S1, but we'll go through her passive first. So she has counter, so counters upon taking damage. Her S1 is increases all allies attack by 18% of own for seven turns. So again, try to increase her attack because it will affect the attack that you give to, to the teams because it's of a percentage value. And her S2 is a Flying Tonfa, required mana is 4, so it's a burst skill, so deals 500% damage to one enemy, and it's a good burst skill also for a support that gives you increased attack. Anyway, guys, um, so this is my, my, my second batch already for Hidden Gems. If you have other suggestions or other Hidden Gems that I didn't uh, mention, um, please mention that in the comments below. Also, I will post a link here for the previous video that I made for Hidden Gems. So that's the part one. I'll post it here. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. So I hope you enjoyed this video. You all stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Word and out.